All right, guys, welcome in. For new or just passing through my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back, squad. Here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may be saying you, but I'm talking to them. I may say them, I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Time and energy are both fluid. Could be talking about the recent past. Might be talking about the present. Could also be speaking about the future. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box. I welcome you to join me for a session. All right. So let's just jump right in. This is reading number two. Let's see what Spare wants to talk about now. someone here who is maybe not doing so well um i feel like we have somebody here who is in deep regret um over maybe the way that they have behaved in the past um I personally feel like the only reason why this person feels this way is because of whatever their external situation may be. So if, say, somebody's experiencing um, misfortune, they could now be connecting a dot somewhere that makes them understand like the reason why things are happening this these things are happening to them is because of past actions um i also feel that somebody is this same person um may have been emotionally manipulative i feel like they're again like so there's deep regret over their behavior their actions um i also am feeling as though there is um, they may have a, a deep sense that you're not the least bit interested in dealing with them or that whatever love that you may have had or whatever love there may have been between you may no longer be there. There may also be this energy of like they might be having a little bit of a hard time because like maybe they never saw or never for, they didn't foresee the fact that you would just kind of remove yourself and keep on going. Um, I do feel like somebody's seeing that now, though. Okay. And I feel like for you, Collective, I mean, again, put yourself in the store wherever you are. Um, I feel like it took a lot for maybe you to overcome. Like, if you had felt really, you know, kind of jaded about the past, it took a lot out of you to shift your perspective or, or change the way you see this person it it took a lot like i said you may have had a lot of love for this person and like it took a lot for you to finally like turn it off if that makes sense now <laughs> this kind of goes back to the last room like you still got love for this person but I feel like whoever you were dealing with, they literally was trying, I, it, you know what's wild? Is that I kind of feel like this person may have pushed you away. What did I say? Somebody is seeing something now. So, I kind of feel like this person may have pushed you away because they weren't really I heard they weren't ready for the kind of commitment that you may have expected or the depth of the kind of love that you were showing 
this person wasn't ready for it and so I kind of feel like what they did was they like did everything they could to kind of undermine what you were trying to do so like say if you were trying to root the relationship and trying to like ground it or something um this person did everything that they could to make sure that that didn't happen and the wild part about it is now i said if somebody they they're seeing now that the circumstances that they've been put in or whatever they're experiencing now they're this person's stuck okay they're stuck but i think they're also stuck in the knowing that they're stuck because of whatever they've previously done okay so whether they're in a different relationship or whether they're single or whatever it doesn't really matter whatever they're whatever the nature of the relationship is they're stuck now because they thought they were getting away with something and they were they thought they were gonna just you know get one over on you but really all they did was just sabotage themselves fear make you do crazy things now look at this I may have to post both of these. <laughs> I may have to post both of these today. They're upset. Okay, they're seeing. Now, this, and I'm using a whole different deck. I'm not even using the same format that I did with the last reading. So here, what it looks like is this person, I feel like they do want to come towards you, right? This person realizes that they're stuck. This person may be stuck and lack... No, see, I don't think that they lack clarity. I think what it is is that... Because I see that they're, they're seeing very clearly. I feel like what they're seeing is that their lies or their lack of transparency. Thank you, Spirit. I was like, what? The, where are we going with this? This person may not have been completely honest with you right and I feel like there has been some form of betrayal you may or may not know about it I do get a sense that this person is in like I said they're in deep regret for trying to play these mind games because really all it did was result in them breaking their own heart and I do feel like somebody wants to come in with an apology, but I heard somebody, they scare shitless because I don't think that they know how it's going to be received. Okay, I think this came up in a couple of readings ago. Like, I mean, it's been coming out. Somebody wants to come in and apologize, but they're afraid that it's not going to be well received or that you'd even want to have a conversation with them so when they come in and they are coming um i don't have a timeline on it but I, they are coming and my cards don't lie they're coming but they're they they are guarded because i feel like they're almost guarded in a way where they feel like you're they may even feel like you're automatically going to shoot them down so they're going to come to you they're going to build up this courage to come to you but I think this person may still be, they're kind of on the fence about what they want to do. And there's, there's a little bit of concern here, nervousness maybe. Oh, look. Yeah, they're torn. They really want to come towards you. I'm like, all these decision decisions. Do I go or do I not? And that's kind of what I, I'm, that's what I'm seeing here based on the way the cards are laying out. Their decision is, do I move forward and take initiative to do the thing that I want to do? Or <laughs> do I just stay back? Do I just stay away? You might have this person blocked or they may be unable to travel to you. Like if you're at a distance, they might be unable to travel towards you at this time. 
they either are unable to travel at this time or they really want to they're either unable to travel or you may have um, communication blocked you may not they not, may not have access to you or they may not have like your phone number or they don't have a way to contact you Somebody here is they're recognizing <sighs> so okay I said they're recognizing now that they're put the position that they're in this stuck energy that they're in is a direct result from whatever they did in the past and now they're feeling like Uh, they are watching. You know, whoever this person is, they never really put a whole lot of effort, I feel like, into your connection. They never really tried to work together with you to build the foundation. I feel like all the foundational work, you may have been doing all the heavy lifting yourself. Um, I feel like they're this, whoever this person is, they're recognizing, they're seeing it now. They're seeing it now based on whatever they're living, whatever their situation is right now. If they're somewhere where they're not very happy, they're definitely seeing the difference. They're seeing the difference between the energy that you gave or whatever it is that you gave into their, into the connection wherever they are or whatever they're experiencing they're not getting that same energy that they were getting from you and now this person is kind of like oh damn i just i fucked up you definitely have somebody here who may be like trying i said they, they may not have access to you so you may have somebody here that's like looking up your socials um I heard this person may feel I heard less than so like they may not like so if you're doing really really well they may not be doing as well as you so they're kind of like internalizing that they could be judging themselves um, based on you know like where the position that you may be holding right now in life Whatever this decision, there. this is somebody here who is, and I feel like you're not really, it's not on your radar. Like, you're not stressed about this person. You're not, because it's not on your rate. You're not tripping at all. You're not stressed. You're not worried about it. You're also not stuck. I heard this person feels hopeless because the connection is like it's it's come undone it's come undone and here's the thing whoever this person is it is definitely connected to your past and while you do still have fond memories you may have fond memories of this person you very well may have fond memories of this of this person but you keep them to yourself And the reason why this person is watching you or trying to dig up information or they're looking into like how to contact you because they don't know what you're doing. They don't know what's going on with you because you have them blocked or you're, you may even have them because I'm what I'm also getting to <clears throat> with this high priestess, you may have them blocked, but you don't just have them blocked like from communication. You may have them blocked energetically because I do have counterparts here. You may have them blocked energetically so that even if you did have some type of like telepathic communication or tele, you know, way to communicate telepathically, you just shut that all the way down. You've, you've, you've shut that down. Somebody is coming back. <laughs> I hate giving that message. Somebody is coming back. The problem is, is that I 
honestly don't feel like there's enough there's not enough love here for oh hold on one I'm gonna finish my thought I don't feel like there's enough love here within the connection or whatever's left I don't think there's enough of it in order to in order to sustain a relationship okay so we'll put that out there first okay um the other thing i'm getting you may have had you may have been dealing with somebody here whoever this person is that you've blocked communication with i feel like the part another part of the reason why the relationship or the contract may have like kind of crumbled or whatever i feel like this person may have had like a secret person in the background That's for some, that's not for everybody. Somebody may also be a little bit worried about you finding that out too. Now for some, I also see here that like somebody is keeping yeah, it's like keeping something from the past secret. You know, that actually came out in the last reading. Something about something from the past being kept secret. But that's literally what, I mean, I feel like that that's going to break up any dynamic, no matter what. This person could also be, okay, because I'm also seeing... So if they, they're feeling like, they're, I heard feeling defeated because the relationship has kind of dismantled. So they're watching you. They're maybe watching you secretly, right? Watching you secretly with the intent to come back. To tell you the truth. Because there have been some injustices here. There's been an injustice and I feel like somebody here wants to set things right. Somebody feels like things are upside down for them. And this person chose the person that they were keeping a secret, chose them over you. Yes, I said there were there was backstabbing betrayal. They want to come and tell you the truth. Yo, do you even really care, collective? Do we care? Hell no. Sorry, cross watcher. I don't give a shit. Somebody wants to come. Somebody wants to come back and tell you the truth. Because whatever they were, whatever they initially started, whatever their plan was, however, whatever this was up here, they thought they were getting away with. All it did was keep them stuck. Now they're stuck. They want to come towards you, but they can't. And it's all because they told lies and they were backstabbing you. When all you had was all of this love, like you literally were like a bucket of love. You got all this love for this person, all this open transparency, all this love. And this person just was super guarded. They've been guarded. They're going to be guarded. They're sneaking around. They're lying. They want to come and tell you the truth that they made it, that they chose someone else, that they chose someone else other than you. I don't think you care. You already know they chose someone else because they're not with you. You don't care. I didn't even pull cards that you don't care. I could tell you, I don't care. <laughs> but this person chose someone else. They chose a different contract. Whoever this was that they were keeping secret, that's what they chose. But because they're they're all stressed out and worried about the injustice that was carried out, whatever betrayal that they've now experienced, because now they it's it's come back to them. Um, now they want to come back to you because they got warm and fuzzies. They remember how loving you were. Child, there's no growth here. And I said, I said this like two or three readings ago. This person wants to come back, right? 
but they're not taking any responsibility for any of the actions and injustices and the betrayal and all the shit that they caused. They're not taking any responsibility for it. The sun card. In the upright. Like you're seeing, and you may already know this intuitively, but I feel like you're seeing, You're. it's going to be illuminated. Whether they come in and communicate it to you or you just have a download and you see it on your own, but or you just already know. But I literally feel like you're seeing clearly. You will also see clearly too when this person tries to come back to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. The sheer fact that they're not taking responsibility for any of the injustices that have been carried out. The betrayal, the lies. Why would you entertain it? Yeah, and the thing about it is... This person never really put in any asset. They didn't put any real effort or energy into the situation, so they've lost it. Child, you were not exciting enough for them. Hmm, I wonder how they enjoy the excitement that they're getting now. Oh. 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 Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Ace of Swords. In the reverse. Change is coming. And it's all because somebody didn't want to be honest. That's what I see here. The devil at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I think in the last reading I said there was somebody here worried about whether or not they were going to be stuck in this position of having to make some kind of decision based on the apology. I don't really think, personally, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Sure, you can come in and apologize. That's fine. That's fine. But I still feel like somebody here is, is not keeping it a buck. So, you're going to have to really trust your intuition whenever you hear whatever you hear. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Archangel Metatron. You're going to have to trust your intuition. That deep knowing... Go with that deep knowing and don't second guess or gaslight yourself, okay? <clears throat> Somebody knows. <laughs> Somebody knows that their door to spirit and the door to romance are being blocked. Somebody may be having a heart um, chakra activation. They may be experiencing financial constraints. And they got to figure out how to get themselves out of the situation. Child, somebody's family life may be in turmoil. Whatever the situation is, everything is breaking down. And I feel like somebody intuitively knows why. I said they know why. They know why. Because it's being illuminated to them that you may not have any more love for them. And you found a whole new tribe of people. The temple path. You're following your temple path. And you're trusting your intuition. And moving forward. I like it. I like it. Alright, let's grab some index cards. I have a spiteful woman, crown chakra, somebody could be trying to affect your crown chakra, the way that you, you know, you're thinking and, and trying to like affect you emotionally. To confuse you, 
may be dealing with a control freak. There could be a power struggle. Somebody says they don't, you don't deserve the life that you're living. Somebody's jealous of your life. Somebody acted foolishly in haste. The month of February could be of significance. Could be dealing with Aquarius or Pisces. Temptation is out here. End of the road. Somebody is stuck in a mindset. Collective, you may be unbothered. This could have something to do with your family. You humbled them all. Somebody could be dealing with alcoholism. Somebody here is misogynistic, has travel restrictions, and they say, I'm scared. Spirit says, take a spiritual bath or cleanse your space. Somebody purposely misled you to keep you confused. Somebody considers you as the competition. Somebody is self-absorbed and possessive. There's a soul contract out here. They know that you don't need them. Somebody says, I know that you're angry with me. Somebody is experiencing bad luck. Yeah, heart chakra. I said somebody may be having a heart chakra activation. And I feel like it's that heart chakra activation that's making them recognize that whatever is happening to them right now is a direct result of whatever they did to you. Okay. Hmm. That's way too many. I'm going to stop with these. That's a lot. Clouds, temporary problems. The month of June could be of significance. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Coins, money will be coming to you. Yay. The month of May may be of significance. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. Vase, secret admirer. Carrot, an opportunity or windfall. We like it. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Throne, position of authority. Tree, affairs with your family. Tiger, something, doing something risky, taking a chance. And ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Okay, here for that. Here for that. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of these before we wrap, um, time-wise. <sighs> Treat yourself like royalty. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Stirring the cauldron. Powerful beginnings in progress. But they do require you to ground them in. Ground in your intentions. What is it that you want for yourself? And I do see big changes ahead. Okay. Follow your curiosity. A state of graceful movement. You do have new beginnings on the horizon. I love it. Abundant beginnings on the horizon. Simplify your life. By decluttering your space, detoxing your energy field, detoxing your body, detoxing the things you watch on TV, detoxing the kinds of music you listen to, the people that you hang out with, out with the old and in with the new. In order for you, I think I just had this conversation with somebody else the other day about like when you go shopping, for instance. It's kind of like the concept of like when you go grocery shopping that you clean out your refrigerator to make room for all the new food that's going to go in. So you're throwing out all the other stuff so that you can make room, right? It's same thing with clothes. It's all energy. So before you go out and go on that shopping spree or when you go on a shopping spree and you bring a whole bunch of new pieces in the house, go through your closet and donate a bunch of the stuff that you don't wear because you don't actually wear all the stuff that you own, you know? It's an energy exchange. 
All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If any parts of this reading resonated for you or gave you clarity over your own situation, give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate it to those who need the message the most. If you'd like to book a personal, more aligned with your own story, all my information is below in the description box and my books are always open. I'm still running the 8888 special for 12 month preview for 2024. If you want to book that with me, go ahead, go directly to my website, www.enlightenauntie.com. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes, tips and donations, and all of my new bookings with new clients. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Till next time. Bye.